finished the first pressure washing of the 57 Chevy and a lot of the paint came off but all the places that the paint didn't come off there was a lot of Bondo every one of these we get in the shop has a ton of Bondo I'm gonna have a closer look at it with you guys and show you some of the repairs that were done to it and what's left it's gonna have to go back in the alkaline tank one more time at least hopefully just one more time and then we'll get after all this rust and there's a decent amount of rust Let's take a quick look. So you can see on the sides here, it was packed with Bondo, some Bondo on the flares. But as you can see, when removing Bondo with the pressure washer, it's all about hitting it at angles. But now that we got underneath this, it should come off in the next step. It's all just peeling off. The pressure washer just doesn't have enough power to get it off. But you can see there's pitting and rusting in this seam here where this patch was underneath the Bondo. Have a look on the inside. There's a decent amount of Bondo in the floor. They had some patches riveted in and then just sealed it with Bondo. This is pretty thick. See? There was definitely a lot of patches done to this. You can see this Bondo here. Just peeling off. The dash looks great. 
come around to the front. All the paint just melted off the front. Front end looks great too. It's in very good condition actually. Come around to the other side, you can see these patches were riveted in. All this Bondo. Yeah, it's just all, I could probably remove most of that by hand. I'll probably do that. The other quarter, decent amount of Bondo, some primer left over. You'd see. Come back to the trunk area. It looks like the whole trunk was replaced. You can see it all brazed in there the whole way around. Doesn't look too bad though. A little rusty, but most of it seems to be just surface rust. And you could see that this was dinged up pretty good. There was a lot of Bondo around here. That's gonna take a little bit to pull that out, huh? But I'm gonna pull as much Bondo off by hand as I can. I might sand on the roof a little more just to get underneath it a little better. But we're gonna get this thing back in the Auckland and I'll see you in a little bit.
1957 Chevy Bel Air is finally finished. We got this thing down the bare metal. It was actually harder than I thought it was going to be. The paint was a little tougher than I expected. And there was a ton of rust. There was a whole bunch of work done to this thing and just layers and layers of metal. We're going to have a closer look at it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So up front in the firewall and the dash and everything, it's actually pretty solid. It's not that bad. Come along the side and look at the floor. This is where a lot of the stuff's going on. You could see these panels just welded together, patches stacked on top of each other. We got some rock coming through in a few spots, a lot of brazed patches. On the roof, you can see we got some rock coming through in a few areas. Quarters, you can see those big patches right there. There was a decent amount of filler on this thing. It looks like the trunk was replaced. You can see where it's brazed around there. And there's a patch right there, brazed in. A few patches right there. Not a lot of rock coming through there. There's where that big den is. Come along to the passenger quarter. You can see another welded patch. Pretty decent size. Have a look over here. You can see a lot more panels stacked on top of each other and some brazing. Some rock coming through. This thing definitely gave us a run for our money. Sorry if this video seems rushed. It was rushed a little bit. I have to leave work early and I have a second job, which I'm gonna be leaving for tomorrow and I'll be gone all weekend. And this is getting picked up Friday. So I had to get my video in so I could show it to you guys. But I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing this car. I like seeing all the little repairs and stuff that were done through the years. And I know you guys like to see that too but I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you at the next car.